Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Meyer from Low Carb Love. We have just pulled up to Trader Joe's and today I'm gonna show you low carb substitutes for bread and pasta. So let's go. All right guys, so first substitute pasta, which I don't know if you guys have tried this here. I think it's pronounced like kohlrabi or something. I mean, guys, this is similar to I think like a radish. This is obviously a vegetable, super clean, super low in carbs, and it's great for pasta dishes. That is a great option. Now let's move on to the next. All right guys, so they usually have zoodles right here, right next to this little guy, but they don't have any, so zucchini, is great it's a great pasta substitute you just spiralize it yourself um, of course it's super convenient when you can just grab a little bag that already has the zucchini spiralized but you get more less expensive so if you're feeding a big family then you want to grab something like this and then do it yourself but i love it it has a nice crunch you can kind of cook it al dente or even um raw just as long as my sauce is heated up with the meats and everything it, it works really, really well. But guys, this is probably out of everything that I've shown you, this is my favorite. So some really great low carb pasta substitutes here at Trader Joe's are the, so one is the spaghetti squash. I personally love spaghetti squash. I love the taste of it, super low in carbs. It is also very, very clean. As you can see here, it's eight carbs minus the fiber. So you end up with six net carbs per serving. I would say for a pasta dish, that is a big win in my book. Now, of course, as you can see, a very popular item here that is sold out is their heart of palm pasta. It is made of hearts of palm. They actually have a rice. So it is very neutral in taste, very versatile. It takes on any flavor that you add to it. I'm gonna show you the carbs for the rice because it is just very similar to the pasta. But as you can see, it is four grams of carbs minus the fiber. So that is two net carbs with only 20 calories per serving. But hey, I never knew that they had rice hearts of palm. Very good to know. As you can see, it's a new item. Their pasta is very, very good. I've been using Hearts of Palm pasta um, as a low carb substitute for years, so I know that you guys will love it. Now, a super popular bread substitute are their cauliflower crust. So they're usually really small. They're out of them now, but they do have the pizza crust, which to me are actually more along like my size that I would personally like to use. So this you can use it as a wrap, stuff it, make a pizza, so many different things, but this is just a great bread substitute. And let me show you the carbs, which down here you can see it's 120 calories. You have four net carbs minus fiber. So then that's three net carbs for the entire crust, which to me is amazing. And if you wanted to use both of them, that's only five net carbs. So this here is a huge win in our book. Now, another great bread substitute are these tortillas. You can use them again as a wrap to make a sandwich, to make so many different things that you would typically use bread. And these are only three net carbs per tortilla, only 45 calories and you have the nine carbs, but you subtract all the fiber and that lends to three net carbs. And guys, these are great for so many different things that you would typically use bread for, but you can also obviously use them as tortillas. Now, one of my favorite bread substitutes are right here. These are great as a bread substitute and a tortilla substitute. They are the jicama wraps, super low in calories, super low in carbs. They, for two wraps, it's 15 calories and only one net carb. So guys, I'm telling you, I have made carne asada tacos, al pastor tacos, I made little breakfast tacos, everything, and they are so delicious. They are very neutral in taste, and honestly, like they're super clean because it's just jicama. So, huge win right here. All right, guys, so here we have egg wraps. It's just such an easy bread substitute because you can make not only breads, but even like a tortilla or wrap substitute. You can make burritos, you can make like a sandwich, you can literally stuff it with lettuce, tomato, ham, turkey, like put some mayo, mustard, pickles, all of that. It is great. As you can see, it even shows you like a little wrap right here. So two wraps for 60 calories and under two net carbs made with egg whites, has a good amount of protein. We have eight grams of protein in here. Guys, this is probably one of the most nutritional 
out of all the subs. Guys, I'm telling you, they have come up with just so many different options and this is just a really good one that they have here at Traders. Now, these, I know that this is just a veggie, but sometimes you have to know that some of the best substitutes come from vegetables. Now, this is obviously an eggplant. You can either cut it long ways or, I don't know, kind of like an egg McMuffin or whatever, you know, kind of small. Um, and you can make everything, whether it's breakfast, lunch, or dinner, you can use it. It's a great substitute. And um, yeah, you just can't leave it out. Now, last but not least, we have the bell pepper. Guys, do you remember that TikTok trend that was going around? I made so many different sandwiches out of bell pepper. It was absolutely amazing, super delicious. And this is one of my absolute favorite bread substitutes. So I hope you guys try it if you haven't already. All right, guys, and as a little bonus, I'm gonna show you the things that I'm actually taking home with me, um, just in case you guys are living a low-carb lifestyle. These are just really, really yummy. These are my favorite almonds from here. I also love the Just Chicken. I love to snack on it. It's super, super easy. I am gonna be traveling, so these are more low-carb versus keto, but they are so good, and they definitely get that craving, that chocolate craving out of the way. Then I have my little unsweetened coconut chips, and this is great just for my trail mix, and then my nuts. All right, guys, so that is it. Those are the best swaps here at Trader Joe's. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Make sure that you do subscribe to the channel for more cool videos just like this. Guys, thanks so much for being here. I love you, and I'll see you all in the next one. Mwah.